NMU men's soccer brought its 2-0 record home to Marquette this afternoon, squaring off with 25th-ranked Lewis on the shores of Lake Superior. No scoring in the first half, so we'll pick it up. Less than five minutes into the second, Lewis on the attack. Max Wideland sends it up ahead to Carson Zosnika, who buries it. So Zosnika's first of the year breaks the 0-0 tie and gives the Flyers a 1-0 advantage. Moving ahead just seven minutes, NMU keeper Niles Cedergren finds himself way too far away from the goal. He pays the price as Wideland chips it over his head just minutes after he assisted on that first goal. 2-0 Lewis now. There was no quit in the Wildcats today, though. Tommaso Lamy awarded a penalty kick in the 66th minute. He stopped, but William Uchenna is there to tally the Cats' first goal of the day and cut the lead in half. Then in the 82nd minute, a northern corner kick. Davian Gum stays with it and knots this one at two. The score would stay right there for the remaining eight minutes, and it ends in a 2-2 draw. Here's NMU head coach Alex Fadovich. When your team goes down 2-0 at home, you know, with 30 minutes to go, and you're able to find two goals and come back and, and really actually push for the winner, super proud of the guys. I mean, that's that's obviously the story of the game. But uh, but we've got to be much better. You know, we put ourselves in that position. So we'll, we'll look at the tape and learn from our mistakes. We're still a young team. We're still three games in. But, you know, to, to fight back like that, Right, against all the odds and the energies against us, uh, against a team that was in the Final Four last year and won our region, and we're now the teams that are able to come back and score two goals. It's a great sign. So very happy with the effort, uh, performance. We can do much better, and we will. Well, the Cats are back in action this Saturday at noon against Thomas Moore right there in Marquette.